Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. This is Mary Coffey and Ms. Uh, Sherry Guanillo, I'd like to introduce. She will be our presenter um, coming up in our conference in, in June. Um, I'd like to introduce her, uh, Sherry Guanillo. She's a nurse practitioner and um, she works as a functional nutrition uh, applications of plant medicine research in the translational nutrition program manager. Uh, she works for the Plants for Human Health Institute with NC State University. And she's going to be presenting for our conference of what do plants say, um, the functional nutrition application of plants in, um, in our uh, industry. So uh, I'd like to introduce you to her and she can tell you a little bit more about uh, what she's going to be talking about. And we're very pleased to have you. So thank you for joining us. Thanks, it's so, it's, I'm really excited about the conference. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about some of the research that's going on here at the Plants for Human Health Institute. We have lots of PIs doing things um, with anthocyanins. We have uh, PIs doing stuff with uh, carotenoids, with gut health. And what my job is, is to really dig deep into that research and bring something practical out of it that providers can use. So we're going to be talking about how you can use specific phytochemicals for specific diagnoses. And as we get closer to precision nutrition, where we're looking at um, SNPs to, that go along with uh, different nutritional needs, um, we're not quite there yet where we can sort of have a dictionary of what goes with what. Um, but as we get closer to that, we're gonna be using phytochemicals to see how we can alter um, disease pathways, just like medications, pharmace pharmaceutical medications can. Wow, that's impressive. So essentially changing the epigenetic um, uptake of our genes, right, on how they're um, expressed, right, right. Or, or not expressed in a, in a sense, right. Now, do you have any testing parameters that you, uh, that you utilize to prove that, prove your theory of certain, the benefits of phytochemicals? Well, um, each researcher is using sort of different methods and we collaborate with other PIs that are on campus with UNC Chapel Hill and UNCG, different, different universities. So some, um, some of our biochemists and our nutrition scientists here are working with genetic uh, scientists next door and working to see how those chemicals are affecting different genes. Very so nice. it's, kind of, it's kind of a mix. Very nice, very nice. Well, um, so you you serve more of as the bridge to help educate uh, practitioners um, right. feel more comfortable um, recommending um, plants as therapy, right? Which is where most of our pharmaceuticals come from, which most people don't realize. Exactly. Mm -hmm. right. But keeping so, them in a natural form. Right, right. Because there there are a lot of benefits of eating whole foods and not just you know extracting specific chemicals. I mean, yes. For sure, you can regulate these specific chemicals and pharmaceuticals, and you can give somebody an exact dose of lisinopril or digoxin or any of that stuff. But when it comes to prescribing foods, people are getting um, extra vitamins, they're getting um, fiber, they're getting some of these things that work together within the plant to give you an extra healthful boost. But we're, you know, we're finding out that these specific phytochemicals are really helping in the same way that Genuvia is helping diabetes, blackberries are helping diabetes. So, I mean, we're really discovering that these specific foods are important for specific diagnoses. Oh, wow, that's great. So food is thy medicine, right? As sure. uh, Hippocrates says, let thy food be thy medicine. That's great. Well, we're very excited to have you. And is there any um, takeaway, any, any um, uh, advice or something that you can share with, with the people watching um, about what's to well, come? Well, I'm hoping that everybody leaves my talk with like a, a little bit, like a couple of elements that they could use in their own practice. You know, a couple of, I mean, every, anyone who's coming to this conference already is sort of on the same mindset. We're all really using some of that integrative stuff in our practice. We're using food as medicine. But where are we going in the future? Where is this going? Where can we, how can we move our practice to the next level to get a little bit more of that specifics from the food and really focus our patient's knowledge and focus our knowledge on that food? 
Uh, it's brilliant. I love it. I'm so excited to watch that. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. And, and I look forward to hearing your talk. Oh, great. Can't wait. All right. Take care.